Hey, it's Sunscarf11, and today I'm showing you how to build my LEGO Typhlosion and Hisuin Typhlosion. If you want to build these yourself, then pause to see the pieces you need. This I couldn't get these two pieces apart, but that's a... I don't know what this is called, but that's a one by one tile. Same as one of these, and this. So we'll start with Typhlosion, my favorite Pokemon. Coloring has gotten a little messy because of handling it and pulling pieces apart. For some reason, blue gets onto fingers really easily. You can adjust the height of this very slightly to try and get it to stand up differently. So it stands up on more of an angle, but it's a bit hard to know exactly where to put that. To get these to fit in together, I had to cut off the... Well, this one has it, but so you can see what the piece originally looks like. So those had to be cut off so that they could fit together. In hindsight, for the head, I should have done what I also did for Hisu and Typhlosion and used a transparent brick for this. As you can see, the head and the flames are actually connected. Now on to Hisuin Typhlosion. As mentioned in the showcase video for them, as well as Cyndaquil and Koalava, Hisuin Typhlosion is a little shorter and thinner, so the build is a bit different for it. Still general same kind of build, but with a few less pieces. Flames go on the same way here, but at a different angle. This piece was not colored in because it gets covered up anyway. And then this can be used to adjust the height and adjust the angle that this one sits at also. So this head doesn't go on 
evenly like the other one does, but that also works anyway because it puts the head at a permanent angle. As you can see, this is transparent brick colored in on only one side. So that's how to build my Lego Typhlosion and Hisuin Typhlosion. You can see Cyndaquil and Quilava from last week's video. And if you watch the end, then Continent Blossom Dance down below. If you have a specific Lego Pokemon that you want to see, then look at the links in the description. And see you next time!